Hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today I'm going to talk about this one thing that you know happens. Now, some folks might say, Jordan, why is it that you always go to work with the same folks in your films all the time, and you don't shift it up to put new folks in your film? I guess it has to do with my mood and what I'm in and who I think is going to work good in it. So, everyone asked me, why do I always do my films right after say Lamoon's film? Well, that wasn't always true. In the beginning, I would do my films later that day. But when we started, go, but we had to shift that when we started going somewhere else and we only had one reckoner at the ha at where we were at and it was a shared one so you had to uh squeeze all you had to get everything you had to get in a certain time for someone else could then work on it what they had to do and it just became one of those things we did after that and it just stuck you know it's like it's a routine it's like it happens that way and then that's just the way you do it and you know you don't have to do it that way anymore but it's just the way it is and if you don't do it that way anymore it just feels weird so yeah that's why I do it now some folks out there and this always comes up and this used to come this always came up all the time more of the haters than of anyone else oh why you do not edit or why you do not shift or you do not clean out your films oh you would get more watch time if you did that well when you're dealing with folks like that keep in mind that they're never going to be happy with anything you do they're always it's never going to be good enough for them they're going to shift a goal you're never going to meet their goal whatever that goal is you know so that's why I don't do it so that's why when things happen in the film as long as it isn't something that's you know sinful or wicked or evil or unlawful or something that isn't so bad it can't something that's want not truly one's own then it mostly keeps in the film you know and the and these shifting tools are hard to work with they're not smooth you know the hardest chunk of them is actually getting them to cut your films off and that's when you're asking for too much you know that's when you're truly asking for too much yeah you're right Jordan that's when you are asking for too much that's when each one of these film shifting tools, and that's what they are, that's when they usually start giving, that's when they start, that's when the downsides come. I don't care if it was Microsoft Movie Maker or if it had been Microsoft Windows Filmmaker. I don't care if it was the ArcSoft ones that we had back in the day or the CyberLink one, Power Director that was broken and all that you do is just film a film yeah and that's pretty much what it is right because what you're asking for is cut now can I bring that together now no you cannot bring two cut chunks back together don't you know that well everybody told me you can do it well I cannot I can make your films brighter or darker. I can uh, help you make a, uh, a beginning, middle, and end sheet to your films. Put some outstanding drawings or whatever you want. But cutting out things, I ah, just cannot do it good. So in other words, you just besmirched my film. Oh well, yeah, sadly, that's what I did. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's ba that's how the ArcSoft that's how the Microsoft one work would do it. 
That's how the Arcsoft one, you know, webcam capan web should been Arcsoft web shooter friend and Arcsoft web shooter for layer. That was their take. And hey, the Cyberlink or the, you know, the inner, the inner link strength overseer. <clears throat> That one basically was just broken and all it could do is just film and that was it. Um, and I know someone's gonna say, what about Apple iMovie, the Apple Macintosh iMovie? Oh, what about Sony Vegas or Mackie Cam or Final Cut or Last Cut? Uh, pretty much all chunks of shit. They're gonna pretty much do the same thing Means that a YouTube one is going to do the same thing too. At the end of the day, they're going to be like this. You want your films brighter, dark, I can do that. You want to have a beginning, middle, and end sheet to your films, we can do that. Want some outstanding drawings, yeah. But cutting out things, that's when I'm going to fuck your film up. I don't care what anyone tells you. I'm not that smooth to run at work. Yeah, and all you do is fuck my films up. So why should I be? So why should I be running you anyway? Why should I be running any of you? I don't know. But once you skilled me, yeah. After I fuck, after I besmirch or fuck up a lot of my films, then I can skill you. Yeah. Well, I'm got all the time in the day to do that. So too bad. You're like a friend that's helpful but can't do everything. You're right. The haters back in the day always would say things like Shifter is your friend. Well, if Shifter was a friend, then it was a friend that only could help you with some of your work, but not all of your work then. It was a friend who at the end of the day had some hangups of his or her own and they could only help you with so much of your work. And they couldn't help you with everything. So, but then, uh, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, I don't shift anything out, unless it's something that's truly bad. You know, something that's evil, something that's evil, sinful, or wicked or unlawful. But I don't do any of that in my films. But if it's something that I don't know, truly one zone. I don't know then it probably won't be in the film they don't but um, yeah if it's nothing like that none of that stuff then anything that happens in this film keeps in this film since in true life you cannot shift anything out something goes wrong you can't just say you just can't get it's not like God gave us this heavenly shift tool and goes well that didn't quite work out why don't we just shift this out and eh, never happen it doesn't work that way you can't shift out the good and you can't shift out the bad you know I could see someone thinking that might be a good tool but at the same time it's not you might see folks who are good doers using if working that to shift out bad but you could see evil doers shift using those working those working those tools to shift out good and make their bad happen. But in true life, something goes wrong. You can't clean it out. You can't shift it. You can't undo it. It happened. And when something good happens, it's the same way too. So that's the way I look at my films. You know, you can't. If it, you can't do it in true life, then you should not, you cannot do it. If you can't do it in true life, then don't do it in films. All right? So, if there are the far speak, so if the far speaker's ringing, it's ringing. If someone has to clear their throat or cough, it's in there. You know, it is what it is. So, it's why I don't shift my films out. That and the film shifting tools are too hard to work with so much for being your friend I want to thank Ashley Williams for coming on and playing the, sh the film fish the film shifting tool 
which uh, he had to play a lot of them because there were a lot of them I worked with and some I didn't work with. I'm Jordan Long and I'll see you later.